without having, you know, my education, it was just depressing me. Like, I, did, I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to be associated around my family. I just rebelled by getting tattoos, and that's kind of like the thing I did, hang out with, you know, not the brightest of people, you know. So you just fall into the wrong things when you're not doing the right things. I was diagnosed with my chronic epilepsy at 17 and that really affected my studies. I would go to school and I would like wake up in the hospital. I didn't understand how that was, you know, happening. So it got to the point where people, I would go back, you know, you're in high school, so people were making fun and stuff like that. And it was just, it was torture. So I, I just felt broken and I didn't want to go to school anymore. I just, really, I fell into a depression. At that point, my future didn't look right. I entered the adult education in 2012, and at that point I felt like I was ready to receive my GED and I was ready to start the process. So when I made the decision to get my education, I just started Googling programs, and the Y came up as one of the first um, GED programs that were out there. I was scared starting over because I hadn't been to school in a while. There was a time that I got discouraged, maybe after a year I think I had been here. Um, what kept me coming back was that I had something to prove to myself. The teachers here, um, they were dedicated, they were on time, and they encouraged us to keep coming, and that was gonna be the key to getting our GED was to keep coming. The feeling that I had when I got my GED was ecstatic. I was kind of in disbelief and my mom was in disbelief as well like wow but she was really excited for me because she knew that I had it in me the whole time and something that I really wanted because I was a broken teenager and if I can be restored anybody can be restored and education is very important it gives you that you know background that foundation that you need for your self-esteem oh I can go into any situation and just be very confident that I got it. Having my GED has opened many doors for me as far as being able to go to college, job possibilities, because you know you are on a job application and it asks you, do you have your GED or high school equivalent and you can't check that box is, is the worst thing. But now I can check the box that I do have something and that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. I have a big sister, but she didn't go to college and she didn't do like a lot of the stuff that I'm trying to do in my life. So having Leah there is like experience and like I see that she did it and like I can do it too. I feel like being a mentor has impacted me. It just, I don't know, makes me feel good just knowing that, you know, you kind of can give back, you can kind of help guide someone and just, you know, just be there for them. I think really working on the activities together, that's kind of when we have like, you know, good bonding moments, teamwork, and then, you know, our girl talk, we kind of do around lunch, which is really good. I would like that you're always there and that I can always talk to you about like whatever's happening around me and stuff. I feel like it's been great being your mentor, just being a mentor in general, but you know, you're a really special girl and it's just like, you know, seeing you even just knowing you from the program, just growing up, getting into college, so it's kind of been, you know, like a big sister type thing, so it's been nice. I feel like the advice I would give you is just to never be afraid to speak your mind, just try everything and just be confident. I guess for me, just what the YWCA stands for, you know, empowering women, eliminating racism, I think it's just really a great program to be a part of and just for other women to be a part of to kind of find their voice and just to know that they can do anything they want. When I was in Chicago with the NOW chapter there, we met at the YWCA. The YWCA was home to me for all those years of activism there. The YWCA has a wonderful history, serves women, so we can come together to help raise the minimum wage, to help get sick days for people who are working full-time or part-time. We're missing out on a whole lot of talent in a whole lot of communities because we don't open the door both educationally and on the job to allow everybody to participate. The women I meet through the YWCA are women who 
want to change their lives, want to make their lives better and the lives of their family better. And I want to do everything I can to support them and I hope other people will do the same. We have three major programs, adult education and training, youth development and mentoring, and advocacy. So for our young women, it's really exposing young girls to um, career options and opportunities, understanding what college looks like and why that's really the right direction to go. Uh, for adults, it's our education and training programs. Um, it's providing a caring environment, it's providing an environment where it's okay to be where you are. If you got off track, it's okay, because we're gonna be there to provide individuals with skills, we're going to be there to provide individuals with the academic training, with the, with the counseling and the social support, uh, as well as really career path development and training. We need business partners to help our students um, shadow a job, have an internship, be placed in full-time employment. We need individuals to come help with mock interviews or speed networking or talking about how to present yourself in a professional uh, environment. Um, and we need girls and men and women who just want to give back um, and come and spend a day volunteering uh, with us or spend more than a day volunteering with us. I believe none of us got here on our own. People helped us get here. And so we have a responsibility to give back. And that's why it's important. I am Alexandria Davis. I'm Alexandra. I'm Mary Jean Collins. I am, we are, every woman. I am Tamara Smith. I am, we are, every woman.